Hello and welcome back here to South Shields on Football Manager. In today's episode, we will be taking on Tranmere Rovers in the league. It'll be 7th facing off against 10th. Both teams looking to get their place in the playoffs come the end of the year. Before we get into that game, let's see how we have gotten on since the last time. So, in last episode, we did face off against Wrexham and Barnett. We got a 4-0 victory over Wrexham, and then we faced Barnett in the FA Trophy, where we lost 2-4 in that replay leg, so we crashed out of that. Since then, we've had pretty decent form. We then took on Ebsfleet in the league, getting a 2-0 win. Goals from Webster and Harrison Devine. That was his first goal since his long-term injury. That was a good moment to see there. Next game, we took on Chesterfield, where we got a 2-1 victory. Goals from Daniel Wright and Marley Blair in that game. We followed that up with a draw against Borham Wood, a game that we should have won, but we could not find a way to get that second goal. Um... Carlo Paveda scored from a free kick to get us a goal in that game. We then faced off against Bellarique, where we got a 2-1 victory over them, thanks to a goal from Poveda once again, and a goal in the 82nd minute from Harrison Devine. Then we have had two draws. The first one was against Harrogate, a game that was super frustrating. We were up 2 to nil, and we ended up drawing 2-2. Two to two. Simply not good enough when you have a 2-goal advantage. Then the last game, we got a 1-1 draw against the bottom of the table, Blythe Spartans, a game that we thoroughly dominated. They had one shot all game, and they scored on it in the 10th minute off of a counterattack. We absolutely dominated the game but we could not find a way to get the victory. So it actually Blythe had two shots. But still, we had 20 shots, only six of them managing to get on target, but could not score that second goal, which would have been huge for us. But let's take a closer look at the league table. So we have moved up into the playoff positions. Sitting on 64 points, we have 4 points between us in 8th place, but I want to get some more wins and secure a playoff position as soon as possible. Definitely have no chance of um, getting that automatic promotion spot, so a couple more wins and I think we will be in the playoffs here, but we have plenty of teams around us that can still make up the point differential so we need to keep up this decent room of form that we are on but here is today's team it is probably one of our strongest teams that we have um maybe harry green could come into midfield but um this is the best that we got going on right now so Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this game. We are at home taking on Tranmere Rovers. They are looking to get this win to get themselves back up near that playoffs. They are a few points out of it, and a win here would help them out tremendously, as a win here would help us out on our way of securing playoffs as well. Huge game. And an early free kick for the Mariners. Webster whips it in. Goalkeeper punches it out. And Tranmere are looking to break on the counterattack. Mitchell Lawson running down the right. He whips in the ball. He finds Patterson. And of course they get an early goal. Off of one of our free kicks. They tore us apart on this counterattack. Ah, this is our Achilles heel. Absolutely torn apart there. Justin Wilkinson marking no one in the middle. Phoenix Patterson wide open on the back post. Oh, 
What a absolutely terrible start we have had here. And Tranmere looking for the second, and thankfully that shot was straight at flat, but we have not started off good here. We have got to do better. We're at home, we have a big crowd in the stands here. We need to put on a performance that they deserve, and we've turned the ball over once again. They're looking for a long ball over the top, but Blair Adams is there this time to sweep that up. Still not liking what I have seen so far. Can we get something going? Paveda plays it to Wilkinson. Plays it back to Paveda and to Webster. Down to Kenyon. He looks for Sheldon. He plays it back to Kenyon. He has a shot and he hits that upper 90 to get a beautiful goal to tie us up at one. What a beautiful shot that was by Alex Kenyon. Goalkeeper was not going to save that. Hit that first time after that pass back from Sheldon. Absolutely beautiful goal. Let's keep this up. Get some more of those. That was good. We worked the ball in there. Tranmere now have a free kick though. Wilkinson initially heads that away, but Tranmere pick up that ball. Can we clear this out? He rushed that a little bit and not sure if he was kicking that in or he was taking a shot there, but not good from them. And maybe we have a chance to get something going here. Nope, Paveda plays it right back to Tranmere and they're now looking for something. What the heck was that? Almost an own go by the looks of that, but they have a corner now. The danger is not over. And thankfully, last came off of Tranmere, and we see out that danger. Still looking a little shaky here. They now have a free kick, but they kick that over. Only had two shots compared to their five. Justin Wilkinson and Puveda pick up a quick double fire yellow. Oh, I didn't mean to hand it over to the assistant, but that's all right. It's all to play for in the second half. I would rather not get a third draw on the bounce. I would like to get the three points today. Barley Blair has not had a good game, and he's past couple games he's not looked great might bring on Harrison Devine if he's not able to pick it up but Alex Kenyon what a game he's having another long range shot and another beautiful goal Kenyon is looking to lead this team to victory today he has his shooting boots on almost from the same exact spot but this time he picks out the right hand corner for his fourth goal of the season. Wow. He is knocking those in. Webster with a free kick. Off the post. Ah. Oh, I thought that was going in there for a moment. But this is looking better from the Mariners. We are going to bring on James Ibrahim for Haygarth. He has recently come back from a... Injury as well. And we're going to make another substitution this time. We're going to bring on Divine for Poveda. As he's sitting on a yellow and hasn't pressed me too much today. And we're going to keep this final substitution a little bit longer. And we are going to bring it on here now. What do I want to do? Bring on Daniel Wright for Webster. Defense is playing all right. I see a couple tired legs back there, but I have faith in them. Demand more for those couple minutes that are remaining. I 
to the 94th minute. We are on the ball. Let's boot it long. The ref calls for full time, though, and we get the come from behind win. Two goals from Alex Kenyon. Two wonderful goals, to say the least. And three vital points have been picked up by the Mariners. Alex Kenyon, what a game. You beautiful, beautiful man. Let's take a look and see how the league table is looking for us now. We're still sitting in 7th place with 67 points. Still 4 points ahead of Maidstone. Still on level points with Dag and Red. But that was 3 vital points. Thanks to Alex Kenyon. Gonna give him some praise out there. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. One thing I forgot to go over, we have our first youth intake player that is worth noting. This is Neil Thurwell, a left back who has tremendous potential. He has almost, well, he has a for sure three and a half stars, potentially a four and a half star potential. The only downside of him is his personality is unambitious. So hopefully I have him training with the senior squad already. And I have him in a mentoring group. So hopefully some of the senior players can rub off on him. He has actually already made his league debut. Brought him on as a second half sub. So... I'm almost positive he is going to be the youngest player in club history. Yes, he is 15 years and 285 days old. The youngest player to play a professional match for the Mariners. So wonderful to see that we finally have a um, a youth intake that, that brought a player into the club that we can actually um, have hope for. Um, I have had... Some upgrades done to the youth facilities and the youth intake. So that youth facilities completed in December of 2021. Don't know if it's going to show the recruitment. It doesn't look like it, but I'm um, glad to see that it's finally paying off. But that is where we will leave this episode today. Um, I will come back for the final game of the season, and then hopefully we will have another episode where we will be in the playoffs. But until next time, it has been your boy 147. Goodbye!